was there any temptation guys come on like <laughs> what, what was the struggle like how how was it because i know it it's really not easy hard. for me it was really really hard especially because i came from other relationships that i never had that before so mm -hmm. i had to hold myself a lot you know so there was i remember there you know like it was some days that i had to call my leader said man you have to pray for me because i'm about to you know kiss her i'm about to you know uh tell her to Go come crazy I'm about come to take her home to my room <laughs> to the woods yeah you know because i came like i said you know i i had many other not many many but i had some other relationships many many yeah. like three others <laughs> <laughs> Jack, that's you yeah, know it's it's uh you know this is in the past so <laughs> <laughs> let's not talk about this keep that no yeah but but that was really hard for me yeah. i had a lot of temptation a yeah. lot and i i could see like when i positioned myself on that point of uh start something holy i i could feel like the my leader said man now it's going to be a like a like a war against your flesh because you know you're you're going to have to feed more your spirit now you're going to have to feed and forget about you know like kissing forget about mm -hmm. because we are i see many young people living by necessity like they they don't live by a purpose they live by what they feel like by feelings wow. you know yeah. wow. so wow. and when you live by That's feelings true. you know you're feeding your flesh so i think that was the main point like my leader used to say man how is your how's your flesh are you feeding it oh i said man no, i'm trying to pray more i'm trying to read the bible i'm trying to keep my mind busy with god you know god stuff because I'm, i'm trying to and one important thing that helped me a lot was when i start walking with people like you guys like mm -hmm. men of god you know like people that i could see man this guy's only 27 this guy's only 21 and he's he has this kind of a mindset already I was like man this is crazy crazy and when i see you guys here now you know i'm 35 and i see you guys younger and in this point with this maturity i was like man this is awesome yeah. because this is what we need in this generation we need people who knows who they are with identity you know like from the calling from what mm -hmm. god has for you guys this is awesome i i, I you know I've, I, i'm so excited because i'm this is what god is about to do you know he's raising a, a generation that knows amen. who they are amen yeah you yeah. know and what they want amen. but uh man coming back on that question it was uh it tough, was right? it was really tough for me was, for yeah. me it was like it was definitely a battle every day i had to like yeah. i had to fight with my it's like what paul <laughs> said you know i i fight myself i i punch myself you know <laughs> because uh you know it's really hard it, it is really hard and but god was so good i overcame i didn't you know i didn't give up <laughs> i uh and you know what's the best when you get married and then the day that you're in your wedding right there and you go to the hotel and you say man we did it <laughs> <laughs> let's have fun now <laughs> Bro, that's that's so true yeah that's so true i was like man now uh, you know yeah yeah i'm free <laughs> yeah no so that was good yeah I'm, but it was really hard <laughs> yeah for me for, for me man it's just it's that transition right of course it wasn't so bad because we were getting to know each other we were hanging out it was so fun but when i asked her i asked her that i wanted to ask her for marriage i remember the one time she fasted me for one week she said i don't want to talk to you i don't want to do this i don't don't talk to me i need to fast it because i need to know if it's the right decision i oh know my in my goodness. heart but once once we That's went into engagement something switched <laughs> in my mind it was she's like, mine this woman's <laughs> mine and man after that point like a lot of temptation every day yeah. she she would sometimes would have the phone of the pastor right in front of me she would pull out her phone keep the phone right here pastor's number if you touch if me, you I'm, gonna touch me i'm gonna call this uh, i'm gonna call pastor right now we, we we're gonna <laughs> sit down okay so yeah it was definitely tough um but thank god for for my wife she's a woman of god and hey, oof, um That's i wish rich. i would have been more you know more like ah oh, strong and, and nothing happened but uh, you know she was really really firm in this and she really wanted to wait until we we got married and man when we got married and we had our fir first kiss just like a, a rain of, Magic. of glory of <laughs> holy spirit just coming man, spirit. filling me up with fire man i my 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 knees were shaking it was so good and that night 
<laughs> I, I was anyways. He spoke in tongues. Huh? I spoke in tongues. <laughs> I, I spoke many His tongues. His favorite <laughs> quote is the one that I fought the good fight. I kept the I faith. I fought the good fight. <laughs> yeah. the faith. That's the, the we wedding did it, verse. Baby. Oh. Come on, let's do it. <laughs> Uh, that's mine good, that's uh good. we we were for two weeks uh we didn't touch each other and all that but then we we started kissing thank god nothing happened nothing like crazy but then uh we we started kissing like oh this courtship thing you know like oh and then like she was not feeling well with that but i was like i was like mm-hmm. oh let's let's just try to see how things go but then when it got to the point of four months in we we're like man we we need to uh get our marriage you know like going pretty much and then we started courtship we stopped kissing she was the one that actually was like and she she would not give in like it was it was i i used to try and she was like she was like no 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 and then i got crazy and that actually pushed me to like yeah she's a woman of god yeah i want to marry this girl i want to be with her and i want to pursue that and that actually instead of thinking about oh when is it going to be our next move or our next kiss or whatever it is i was thinking about working i was thinking about pursuing god and actually be like, man, I, I need to do something to become a man of God so I can actually marry. And then we yeah. talk about purpose and all that, just like you guys share. But then they, whenever we transition, that's when our relationship was, you know, we were like, I want to marry her. So yeah, um, that's good. Yeah. So there is a lot of temptation. It's not easy. Uh, that was a that was a moment, Thiago. Mm. I remember this. I it was a very difficult day. It was the darkest day. <laughs> and, and that day. I tried to drive her to a dark parking lot. Ooh. So I drove her and she's like, what are you doing? Why are you parking here? And there was nothing there. It was just an empty parking lot. It was super dark. Mm-hmm. And then I'm like, Wild. I'm like, honey, I can't, I can't <laughs> hold Wild. anymore. I can't hold anymore. I have to kiss you. I have to kiss you. And she's really? like, bro, so dumb. She's like, dude, what are you doing? <laughs> and then I try. I really try. And thank God for our wives, you know, because they, yeah. they, 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 they're the ones who protect us. Yeah, and then she's like, tight. I'm calling pastor right now. So I'm like, no, no, don't wow. call pastor. Don't call pastor. She, <laughs> she grabs back, her phone. I'll drive back. She grabs her phone <laughs> and she calls him. And then he's on speaker. He's like, Rebecca, what's going on? And I'm like freaking out. She's like, Pastor, Tulio's trying to kiss me. He's trying to, to make out with me oh, right now. In and a I'm dark like, place. <laughs> in a dark place. He parked in the dark parking he lot. He brought me to this. And he's like, he's like, place. he's like, Tulio, I have you on find my friends. If you don't go home right now, I'll go, I go, I will go to the place that you are. And I'm like, shoot, Pastor, I'm so sorry. I'm going home right now. Bro, after that day, I was just like, so I was so ashamed. <laughs> I was so afraid of Pastor, but he was gracious. He was so because he went through the same thing. But he never told me only afterwards. Yeah. Uh, wow. But there's this quote, Chago, from from Roosevelt that that he says like this: "Nothing worth having comes easy." Mm. Wow. So so if something's too easy, I'm sorry, it's not worthwhile. It's not worth your your work. You know, it's not worth mm-hmm. your effort. So so you want to have something. That you at least have to work for it, you know what I'm saying? Like th- there must be some effort, some some things that you gotta pay the price, you know, and, and give up, give up your flesh, give up your desires, mm-hmm. and feed your spirit, like you were saying. Yeah. And I love courtship because of this one thing, because I believe that courtship is what the Bible says. The Bible says that there's no good in us, mm. there's no good mm. in our flesh. So courtship is for is for those that believe and understand that there is no good in their flesh. Because I know there's no good in me, Chago. I don't trust in my flesh. I don't yeah. trust myself. I yeah, don't that, trust because if I trust, that's the problem, I guess. When you yeah, start that's, that's the problem yourself, when you trust yeah. yourself. So why do we need people around us? Like John was yeah. saying, like I need people to help me, to advise, you know, to to tell me what to do. I need w- wisdom from from other others that have done what I'm trying to do right now. I need my life group to pray for me. I need my disciple yeah. close to me. I need people. Accountability. Why? Mm-hmm. Accountability. Why? Because I know there is no good in me. I need Jesus. I need to pray. I need to seek God. I need to ask God for help because I know there's no good in me. And mm-hmm. because I know there's no good in me, people are also gracious towards me. So my wife was gracious. My pastor was gracious. My disciples will be gracious because they understand, hey, my pastor, my leader, he knows that there's no good in him. They fail. You know, something might have happened. You know, they fell into temptation, whatever. If that happens, be humble. You know, just understand, hey, I messed up. I want to rebuild. I want to. I want to heal. I want to, you know, go back and try again, and that's okay. You know what I'm saying? So, so as soon as you understand that there's no good in you, don't trust your flesh. Don't do this alone. Ask for help. Ask for people who's older, wiser, people that can actually help you, and and let them guide you. Let them help you. You know, be humble. And as you do this, I guarantee, it's at least 99 percent sure that you have an amazing relationship. <laughs> Oh,